Medtronic Diabetes has unveiled a couple new insulin pumps that are in development. A tube pump, the 8 series, and a never before seen tubeless pump that will hold up to 300 units and last for 7 days. There is so much to get into about these new insulin pumps as well as some of their new CGMs that are coming, but before we do, I'm Justin, welcome to Diabetech. On here I talk all things diabetes tech news and management. I've got a podcast on Mondays, videos like this on Friday. Fridays. I also have a newsletter and blog. I've got articles coming out every week diving into the latest in technology and, and my experience wearing it uh, and using it. So go follow that with the link in the description. Medtronic's current pump, the 780G, has a strong algorithm, but one could say that the pump itself is pretty clunky. It is not super intuitive. A lot of people who don't have the best vision have difficulty using it, including older people as well. But Medtronic hopes to come in with a bang and be more competitive with their new line of pumps, the new 8 series and a tubeless pump. There's a lot of exciting stuff to say about both of these two products, so let's get into it. Let's start with Medtronic's new tubed pump coming out, the 8 series. So currently we're on the 780G. This will start the new series, the 800 series. This pump is super sleek. It has no screen. It kind of looks as slippery as an Apple TV remote. And it also looks like a vape pen. And this pump has no screen. It will be controlled completely by a smartphone, whether it be an iPhone or Android, both will be compatible. It will be similar to Tandem's Moby, which has no screen, it's controlled from a phone. A lot of people, including myself, really enjoy having that smartphone control and not having to take out your pump. It's a little more discreet. Plus, there's also a button on the device. My thoughts are that this will be a quick bolus button. You have that on Tandem Moby, you have it on the Twist pump coming out. I think that this button will be used so you can give yourself increments of insulin, whether it's one, two, or three units, or increments of carbs, 10, 15, 20 grams of carbs. I'm actually trying out the Moby right now, and on here, I've got a little button where I can press, and when I press that, I can do increments of 10 grams of carbs to bolus 10, 20, or 30 grams. And of course, this pump will take advantage of Medtronic's extended infusion set that lasts seven full days. Right now, every other pump only lasts up to three days, so this is a huge plus for people who are using Medtronic pumps. So bringing that to this pump will just make it be like that much more competitive in the space. Medtronic has already submitted for CE Mark in Europe with this tube pump. No submission has been sent to the FDA, or at least I have not heard about that. Let me know if you've heard about it. And the most exciting thing here is that there will be a pivotal study in 2025, or at least they say there will. A pivotal study basically means that humans will start trying the device for the study and see if it works well. Uh, here's hoping it does because I am so ready for Medtronic to have a new form factor for their main tubed pump. Now let's get into some tubeless stuff. So we've already reported on this channel with a few videos about Medtronic's hopes to have a tubeless pump. They had been acquiring a South Korean company, EOFlow, but that deal fell through. In fact, Inslet, the producer of Omnipod, sued EOFlow over copyright or patent issues, and they won in a US court. So Medtronic, they dropped the acquisition with EOFlow, and they decided that they were going to work on their own tubeless pump. And they have, and there is a rendering of it. Here's what it looks like. It has a modular design. So unlike the Omnipod, which is one piece, this will have a few different pieces, maybe one that holds an insulin cartridge, one part that is used more than once, and one part that perhaps is disposable in some way. Some exciting stuff with this pump is that Medtronic says that it will hold up to 300 units of insulin. That is 50% more than the Omnipod and Tandem Moby currently hold. Those hold 200, this would hold 300 units. The exciting thing about this, well, it, it could allow for more days to be worn, which is amazing, but it's also great for people in the type two diabetes community. 
I believe only 38% of people with type two can use a 200 unit pump for the, the three days that they're allotted. Whereas if a pump had 300 units, it would allow for 64% or more people with type two to wear that pump for the full three days. So that's exciting for that community. And then for me, for people with type one who just want a longer wear time, I mean, I use anywhere from 35 to 50 units of insulin a day. So let's say at my highest 50, that's one, two, that's 300 units, that's six days that I can get out of a pump. Uh, this one would allow for seven. And then if I use my lower end, I could actually get through those seven days using that pump. So I don't know, a, a seven day tubeless pump would be amazing. And this pump is getting the seven day wear using the same technology I mentioned earlier, the extended infusion set that's being used on Medtronic pumps today, that eight series. And then this one would have a similar technology that allows it to last longer. I mean, oh my God, a seven day tubeless pump. Holy cow, sign me up. I think one of the most exciting things about this tubeless pump, all the new features it has and that it's so public is that competitors like Inslet, the producers of Omnipod, Tandem with Tandem Moby in a, in a future tubeless pump that they have Siggy, which we've talked about on this page. I'll put it down in the description so you can learn about Tandem's tubeless pump. They also wanna have a tubeless Moby. These competitors are going to want to be competitive, right? They're gonna want that seven day wear. Tandem's working on a seven day infusion set. Omnipod's gonna wanna make a larger chamber for insulin, maybe have it last longer, maybe even be smaller. So the competition in this space is heating up and I'm here for it because we need these companies to have to push further because there's, a, there's someone else who wants to take their market share. So could this be the start of the tubeless wars? I sure hope so. These two pumps are on Medtronic's roadmap that ultimately brings us to a product that they've been talking about in meetings. I have a slide which I'll put up on screen now to an all-in-one tubeless pump, a pump that gives insulin but also has a continuous glucose monitor within the device. So you're telling me we could have a seven day tubeless pump that also measures blood sugar? Sign me up even more. And this future really is possible and it, it may not be that far away, maybe, maybe a few years, maybe five years, because I've already seen prototypes of all-in-one pump and CGMs. I saw the Nia from PharmaSense. I got to see that at EASD about a year ago and uh, I came out with a video on that. I'll put, a, I'll put that in the description where I talked about everything I saw at EASD, including these devices. And you can see that they have both a cannula or a needle that provide insulin, as well as a little strand with the continuous glucose monitor. Now Medtronic, they have their own CGMs. So they have the technology already that they can implement into this pump and sell both of those devices, whereas all other companies out there, they either are a CGM company or a pump company. They would have to collaborate and maybe they will in order to compete against Medtronic, but Medtronic has this technology that they can in integrate together. Now, speaking of continuous glucose monitors, I think it's important to kind of bring you up to speed if you don't know of like the continuous glucose monitors that Medtronic's working on right now. So first there's Simplera, which I've tried already. I've worn two of them. I have a video on this channel where I talk all about my experience. It has a two hour warm up, which is pretty long and only lasts seven days. Although there are talks of it being extended to 10 days. And it was pretty accurate for me. It's much easier to use. It is disposable. You just pop it on. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's on. There's not this whole clunky aspect of putting it on like the Guardian 4. Uh, so that is already becoming available throughout Europe. Uh, it is already cleared in the US to be used with InPen. It is starting to work with the 780G pump as well in Europe. Hopefully that comes to the US as well soon. Uh, and then you also have this collaboration between Abbott and Medtronic. I have a whole video about that, which you should totally watch. I'll put that in the description. But these companies are working together for Medtronic to have a device, a CGM that lasts 
potentially up to 14 days, like the Libre 3 Plus. They've teamed up with Abbott to get that Libre technology and put them into a CGM for their system. So go watch that video or those videos if you wanna learn about Simplera or hear more about what I have to say about the Medtronic Abbott collaboration. I won't get into that now because you can just go watch those videos. Let me know what you think about all of this new technology, specifically the pumps. If you had to choose one, would you get the eight series or the tubeless pump for Medtronic, let me know in the comments. Also, I've been wearing the Tandem Moby. I already showed you this, but if you have any questions or want me to specifically get into anything on this, whether it be in my review on social, let me know in the comments so I can make that video or, or answer those questions. And also, I did an entire video about what I hope the next generation Omnipod is like. And you should watch that video because I think it's relevant to kind of some of the stuff I talked about with Medtronic here. I also wanna do like a next gen tandem video. Once I wear Moby for a while, I can kind of wrap my head around what I wanna see on a next generation tandem. I mean, we kind of know what the next generation of Medtronic is, uh, but there will probably be more. And what I would love to see is smartwatch control on all these. And I get into that in Omnipod. Uh, video. So be sure to watch that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. Again, my podcast is on Mondays on here and all podcast platforms and my blog and newsletter. I've got articles coming out every week diving into the latest in technology and, and my experience wearing it uh, and using it. So go follow that with the link in the description. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it so other people can see it. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.